Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Nini. In today's video, we are going to be doing something a little bit different as you can see the kitchen setting. We're going to be making a slow cooker apple cobbler. I don't typically film like cooking videos and stuff, but I came across this recipe and it looked really, really fire. And I was just like, why not film it and share it with you guys? We're going to pray for the best <laughs> and hope that it comes out good. So bear with me, but I figured it would be a fun experiment either way. Um, so if you are going to be making this recipe, recipe at some point, you can totally Google it off of the Tasty app or uh, you can either Google it and then just put dash Tasty because it's by the Tasty um, app or you can download the app and just um, look up slow cooker apple cobbler. Um, you will need a slow cooker. You're going to need four green apples. You're going to need ground cinnamon. Um, this is two the same. I was just running out of one so I picked up another one. Salt, ground cloves and ground nutmeg. Um, you're going to need some brown sugar. You're gonna need some pancake mix and oats. It does say on the recipe for it to be quick oats, but I had already bought like the regular oats and it was so pretty new. So I was just like, I don't wanna buy a second one. So yeah, we're gonna work with that. All right, so that's pretty much it. We've got everything that we need. Um, let's just get started without further ado. If you wanna see how I make this slow cooker apple cobbler, then please keep on watching. All right, so to start off, um, I'm going to be cutting the skin off of these apples. It'd be much easier if you had like an apple peeler, but I'm just gonna be using a knife to improvise. Oh, um, one thing that I didn't mention as far as the ingredients, um, I would totally get some vanilla ice cream. We're actually gonna go pick some up because this does take about two and a half hours to slow cook. So anyway, yeah, let's begin with the apples. So I'm just trying to be like really careful, again, since I don't have like the apple peeler. As you can see, I'm just trying to be really careful. If you don't have like an apple peeler, I mean, I would totally recommend that instead. But if you don't, you just really want a super sharp knife. And then of course, just be careful for your fingers and stuff. All right, so now that that's done, um, I'm just throwing away all of the excess peels. Sorry, I thought that I hit record and I didn't. So next, I'm just taking those same apples after I've cleared up my area and I'm just cutting the sides of them so that they look like this. And then I'm taking that chunk and I'm just cutting it over and over again so I can have these little apple slices. I'm just gonna spray my crock pot with cooking oil. All right, next I'm just gonna put all of these apples, with clean hands of course, into this bowl. And then I'm gonna move them to my slow cooker for now until I get the rest of the ingredients in. So, like this. And I'm just gonna dump them in. Put my slow cooker on low for now, just to get it heated up until I am done with the rest of the ingredients. Classy. That was very good. All right. Now we will move on to the other ones. Let me just throw this away. All right, so now we're gonna move forward to the next part of our ingredients. Um, another thing that I forgot to mention was that you need butter. I just leave it in the fridge up until I'm ready for it so it doesn't get too soft. Um, so anyway, we're going to start with the pancake mix. And for the pancake mix, you are going to need, let's see, let's look at our recipe. Half a cup of pancake mix. So I have my measuring cup right here. So 
fantastic half a cup. Oh my gosh, so messy. Yeah, that's half a cup. Oh. Okay, cool. All right, we're, I'm probably gonna get messy. I'm not like the cleanest cooker kind of thing in terms of keeping my area clean. So um, anyway, I'm just gonna get a mixing bowl. Actually, I'm gonna use this one. And just pour that into there. Take a sip of my champagne. That's very really good. And for the next, I'm gonna grab my Quaker oats. Let's see, two thirds on the cup. That's right here. I'm just gonna so eloquently pour this in. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, we eat from counter though. <laughs> I'm just gonna pour that in there. We got the two thirds, that's all that matters. Two thirds of brown sugar. So I'm gonna grab my brown sugar. And we need three fourths according to the recipe. So three fourths is right here. Well, that's a lot of brown sugar. That's what I'm doing. Cinnamon, so I, I need one teaspoon of cinnamon. That's one teaspoon. Of cinnamon. Oh, I'm just gonna use this because I don't want to make a mess. All right, there's our one teaspoon. Next, we need. Next, we need half a teaspoon of nutmeg. I really just popped this, so I do have to open it. of the ground cloves. Open this as well. And then we take my fourth of a teaspoon measurement. There we go. Gosh, it's funny, like buy like an entire thing of seasoning and I'm only gonna use it this once. Where's <laughs> the ground think, cloves? Um, it smells very like, <laughs> Strong and cinnamon -y. I don't know. It reminds me of cinnamon, just like a strong version of it. <laughs> then we're going to need a fourth teaspoon of salt. So I'm just gonna take that same little measurement cup thing that I have or spoon thing that I have and pour that in there. And then um, I know we need the butter at some point. It also said that we need lemon juice. I won't be using lemon juice today. I didn't realize that that was out. Um, but thankfully it's only like a teaspoon, so hopefully it doesn't make too much of a difference. So we need half a cup of butter. I'm just gonna melt this. I'm pretty sure it's not, actually, I think it's not my other one. I'm gonna melt this to ensure that I'm doing like the right amount because, wow, that's crazy. This would have been a full cup. Really? Or half a cup? Oh, that's crazy. This whole stick is half a cup. That means I have to use the entire half. Yes. This entire stick, I mean. Wow, that's a lot of butter. We need more butter now. Yeah, we need more butter. So I'm just gonna take the half that I already have and then I'm gonna um, cut the other half. Mm. I'm gonna open it and we'll put it in there. Let's see. <laughs> So I'm just gonna put that inside of my measuring cup. Although it looks like it's standing up to one cup, it really is only like half a cup. I'm just gonna melt that. That uh, is melting. I am just gonna mix this really quickly and then I'm gonna pour it on top of the apples that I have inside of the slow cooker. Mixing around. It smells good, it smells like Christmas. Does it really? <laughs> Christmas and um, uh, Hobby Lobby. Oh. All in one. 
You gotta smell it. <laughs> now that my butter is completely melted, I'm gonna just pour that on there. All right, so the cool thing about the slow cooker is, is all you need to do is throw in all of your ingredients and then you just gotta let it sit. So I switched it from low to high. Um, I only had it on low so it could kind of like warm up in the meantime, but now that um, all of my stuff is in there, I'm putting it back on high and I'm just gonna close that up. We'll see it in two and a half hours. Hey guys, welcome back. So it has been about two and a half hours and our dish is finally done. So I'm going to it smells really good, really cinnamony too. Um, I'm going to scoop some out. I have my vanilla ice cream right here and I have some caramel to drizzle, totally optional of course. And let's try it out. I just need a plate. I grabbed everything but a plate. All right, this may seem super. All right, so. melting on it. Okay, give it a good little bit of both. Oh my gosh, it's taking me forever to just try this one bite. <laughs> Jeez. All right. I'm blowing it when there's ice cream on there. You guys must think I'm so silly. It's because the inside is hot. That is so good, babe, I nailed it. I nailed it, yes, it is so damn good. Yes! <laughs> you have to do it on camera, babe. It's only right. All right, guys, got a bright amount of apple cobbler, ice cream, and a dash of caramel. Mm. Yeah? Right, you make your own plate. Uh, <laughs> you like it? Mm -hmm. ah, yay! <laughs> I nailed it. Oh. All right, you guys, this was a total success. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna finally wrap this up and eat the rest of this. Well, make my own plate. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna make my own plate since you just took mine. But thank you so much for watching. I'm so happy I did this. Huh? Like a pie crust? That actually wouldn't be a bad idea. Good thinking. But anyway, all right guys, I'm gonna wrap up this video. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video as well as our Tasty Tuesdays video, which we recorded like in between this. Anyway, um, yeah. Thank you so much. We hope that you are being safe, sending you our love and all of our positive vibes. Take care now. Bye. Oh, good.